Today, I'll be sharing on how I went from selling shoes and clothing on eBay to selling electronics. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So pretty much the way I started selling on eBay, I started selling on eBay in high school. I used to do it part time. My dad uh, taught me how to do eBay. And the way we started was buying shoes and clothing. So that was what I was introduced to. And here in the area, in the local flea market, there was people that was buying uh, Goodwill pallets and selling all the clothing at the, th at the flea market. And they still do, actually. Like if I wanted to, you know, pivot and do clothing, I could definitely do that. Um, but over the time, uh, my dad started selling electronics and I was out in Texas working in a different field. Um, and he was doing really good with electronics and he kept telling me and I was working in that. Over time, basically Corona happened and I wasn't going to be working for a bit. So I was going to be sitting out. So I gave eBay, eBay a try. And at the time, my dad was doing a lot of electronics. So what I did, I started with electronics right off the bat. And after so much time, you know, I didn't really think of clothing and, and shoes because he kept telling me about the electronics, how some of them were crazy. So basically, when I got back, I started just doing straight electronics. And for the most part, electronic returns are kind of a bitch. Um, my return rate is like 6%. With clothing, it's a lot less than that if you're on it. Um, me personally, I, I'm willing to take the risk. I think it's like an extra 5%, um, you know, fee for the, the high return rate. So basically I went to selling electronics because of my dad and I personally just like it a lot. You know, and I, there's a lot of stuff that like when Christmas comes around, um, there's a lot of gifts that we can give out to people. And I think honestly with electronics, the average sale price is a lot higher. And honestly in my area, like there's still a lot, like, I can either go clothing or electronics because there's tons of both. Um, here in California, there's a lot of electronic waste. There's a lot of e-waste. Uh, there's a lot of people that donate stuff all over the place because there's an abundance of items. Um, if you're like in Utah or Nevada or, you know, in the Midwest in Oklahoma or something like that, it might be a little harder. Um, so that's kind of what I have in my area. Like I said, um, there's some times where we get $1,000 electronics. I'm sure people that sell clothing, they can... Um, you know, find thousand dollar pieces of clothing. So it, it all depends on what you want to do at the end of the day. You know, you guys can learn from what you guys can see what from me and learn from me and apply it to whatever you guys sell. You know, it doesn't have to be electronics. Uh, but if you like electronics, you know, might as well subscribe. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share a quick video on how I kind of got into that and why I kind of stick stuck to it. You know, I, I can get it consistently. I sell it consistently for a good price. It all depends on what you can get in your area to see what you could sell, you know? So when you guys are first starting off, try to focus on pretty much everything. Sell a little bit of clothing, sell a little bit of electronics, sell some video games, sell some shoes, go like that, and then see what you can get consistently over time. It takes time to build it up. So that's why I sell electronics. I pivoted in that direction because of that, um, because my dad got into that. There's an abundance in California and there's not an abundance everywhere else. I know in Florida, it's, I heard it's really good. Um, possibly in Texas is probably pretty good too. Um, this video is sponsored by www.playotech.com. I have inventory lots on there. I can get so much product that I'm pivoting more into liquidation for the uh, items that are from 10 to $20 each. And I'm trying to focus more on like $100 on my store. And I can get it so cheap that I can make just a little bit of profit on selling you guys wholesale. And I'm hooking you guys up for the people that can't really get electronics like that. So if you guys are interested, link is down below. I also have coaching uh, if you guys want to have a little one-on-one -on -one and... I can kind of guide you through the process of eBay if you're brand new or if you just need motivation. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dave Play. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and I'm going to catch you guys later.